My heart has been moved by a good word. I am reciting my work concerning the king. My tongue is like the pen of an experienced and skillful scribe. You have become more beautiful than all the sons of men. Grace and charm have poured out from your lips. Therefore, our God has blessed you forever. O valiant one, belt your sword into place, gird yourself in splendor and majesty, and in your splendor ride on. Ride forth triumphantly on the word of truth and humble loyalty, and let your right hand point you to wonderful and glorious things. Your arrows are sharpened, and nations fall under you with your arrows in the heart of the enemies of the king. Your throne, given to you by God, is everlasting. It is for all time. A scepter of fairness and justice is the scepter of your royal domain. You love what is right, and you hate what is wrong. Therefore, our God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy and jubilation. You have more joy than any of your companions. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh and aloe wood and cassia. And as you come from palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings causes you to rejoice. The daughters of kings are among your noble attendants. To your right stands the queen, adorned in the finest of gold, the gold of Ophir. Now, listen, daughter. Pay attention and listen well. Forget your people. Forget your family. And the king will greatly desire your beauty. Honor and respect him, for he is your lord. And the daughter of Tyre, the wealthiest of people, will come before you with appropriate gifts to both appease you and seek your favor. All will honor you, princess, with pearls of coral and garments of brocade laced with gold. She will be brought before the king, clothed in color. Her virgins, the attendants who accompany her, are also being brought to you. They are brought in joy and with rejoicing, and they now enter the palace of the king. You will be revered, not for your fathers, those who came before, but for your sons, those who come after, those whom you have trained and set as princes throughout all the earth. I will praise your name. Through my work, I will cause it to be remembered in each and every generation. Therefore, the peoples will praise you forever and always.